Hello everyone and welcome to my Throne Rush Defense Tips and Tricks videos. Today I will be showing you what I believe to be the best way to defend your kingdom and a few other tips and other ideas. First of all, a discussion of the towers. First of all, the regular tower has the most hit points of all your towers. So therefore, it should be like the first tower that your enemy troops are dealing with. At least in a general sense of the idea. Next, the archer towers are longer range than the regular tower and attack faster but have deal less damage. These should be generally behind your regular towers or next to them to maximize their efficiency. Next, the cannon towers are longer range than every other tower and should be towards the back and at least having their firing arc protecting every other tower that is in their vicinity. Now the ziggurat tower should definitely be used behind walls and surrounded by their own protective layer of walls as these towers deal a massive amount of splash damage and take out closely grouped enemies. So you should always have these guys together. Now there are other towers that I do not have because I'm currently upgrading my castle to level 9. Um, the one I don't have right now is the Tower of Fire and the Tower of Death. Um, I will be getting the Tower of Fire, but um, you know, again, same idea kind of applies for the Tower of Fire with the Ziggurats. So obviously this should go without saying, but the first building you need to make sure that you are defending is your castle. If your castle is popped, then you automatically lose the battle and you get a shield for about 12 hours. Um, next, the next priority building you should be protecting are your treasuries and barns. Now, they don't have to necessarily be, in fact, they should not be like right next to your castle as you would, if you did that, you would just be... Uh, giving your enemy a specific path to go target and destroy everything and win the battle with taking the most resources. But of course, right now, this game is extremely imbalanced and it's probably going to happen no matter what. Um, but if you follow these general guidelines, you know, generally, if your opponent is not good at attacking, then you will win the battle. The next set of buildings you should be protecting would be your towers, your defensive towers. Obviously these are key to your defense as they attack and kill all your enemies. So make sure that these are behind your walls as well and certain towers like your ziggurats have their own special, uh, and your storm spires usually, have a their own special uh, section of walls protecting them. and. You know, that's about it for towers and, you know, defense priority. I mean, the the low priority buildings would be your resource production buildings, your windmills, and your mines. And the other low priority buildings, your barracks, alchemy lab, forge, tavern, and, you know, and all those. The, those aren't high priority buildings, and you should use those as some sort of a fodder to uh, defend your... Uh, kingdom. Okay, now, when you're setting up your kingdom, make sure that the red zone that you see completely encompasses the inside of your walls. You do not want your enemy deploying inside your walls, because then you're just giving them a free free pass to, uh, to win the battle. Next uh, little trick is make sure that, you know, when if you have a couple extra buildings, set them on the corners of your map. This will basically make your opponent waste out the timer and it could even distract a few troops that it shouldn't be distracting like trolls and um, ants. So that way the enemy not only wastes the timer but also their troops are off fighting buildings that they shouldn't be fighting and you know you'll win the battle easier. Also make sure const you are constantly upgrading your walls. 
constantly, constantly upgrade your walls. Now, right now, um, apparently the uh, devs decided to make sure that there is no timer when you upgrade your walls anymore, which is fantastic as most other games of this genre do that already. You know, you, you don't have to wait 30 seconds to upgrade a wall section, which is just fantastic. So make sure you are constantly upgrading your walls and that you're... Walls are surrounding all your important buildings, obviously. Um, the other thing is, make sure when you're setting your walls, try to section off your castle as much as you can. As you see, you know, I have several sections built so that when the enemy is attacking, they are actually, they have to go through several different sections and waste the timer even more. So make sure you do that too. You know, turning it into a little maze of sorts is the best way to do do it usually. Also make sure, you know, you are constantly upgrading your towers. Um, now, just, you know, general rule of thumb, if you're upgrading one tower, your defense is going to be that much weaker. So if you have more than one builder, just... Upgrade as many towers as you can at one time, especially if they all have similar timers, like one day or two days. I mean, you're you're going to get steamrolled without those towers anyway, so just upgrade them. Just straight up upgrade them, and just keep upgrading as much as you can. You know, the stronger your towers are, the easier it is to defend. But even, you know, even against, you know, full-on eagles and... I'll discuss that in a second. Now, really quick... There is no such thing in this game as the perfect defense. In fact, right now, it is to my opinion that this game is horribly imbalanced towards the attacker's favor. So, you know, eagles, wraiths, trolls, and wizards, the, these things, and ents, these things are all massively imbalanced right now. You're, I mean, like, honestly... I, almost every attack I do is with 40 trolls and 30 wizards. Because trolls and wizards together, they just destroy everything. And even the, I mean, even the heroes are a little imbalanced, too. Like, for instance, the, um, <laughs> the, the chick with the, um, the melee chick. She just walks through everything and has a massive amount of hit points and attack damage. But as of, like, right now, like I said, this game is horribly imbalanced. Um, it's just, to my opinion, that, you know, the, the, the devs need to uh, either add traps for both ground and flying enemies that they, they can run into and get killed with, or they need to buff a couple of specific, uh, you know, enemy-specific towers. Like, for instance, the Storm Spire they could buff this to where it splashes damage against uh, flying enemies so that they get killed a lot easier and faster. Um, and they could upgrade the cannon to where it does bonus damage, where it ignores armor against... Uh, oh, no, it ignores armor. There is no armor in this game yet. But, uh, but where, you know, it does bonus damage against uh, enemies that specifically target defenses, like... Um, trolls or or even an enemies you know just specific enemies like make it deal bonus damage to ents and trolls because honestly the the cannon is very weak at the moment um archer towers you know like i said they they could just buff a lot of towers and right now it's just horribly imbalanced but other than that that that's pretty much uh what i have to say about that all right, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, as far as it goes, just, you know, protect your key buildings, your high-priority buildings. Keep everything inside your walls as much as you can. And, you know, that's pretty much all my ideas. But like I said, there's no such thing as the perfect defense right now. This game's horribly imbalanced, and I hope Progress Star, uh, if I am not mistaken, that's the name of the uh, de dev, um, they need to uh, balance out a few things like either add traps or make the uh, storm spires uh, splash damage against flying enemies um, or or horribly increase their damage against flying enemies I mean it's just ridiculous but other than that those are my 
uh, tips and tricks, my idea on what I think works best. But like I said, there's no such thing as a perfect defense, and I will see you guys in more videos to come. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.